Hey gamers, Don here from Need to Know, and today I am reviewing Sidebar Games' Golf Story. Golf Story is a golf RPG. No, seriously. There's a story, which I'll touch on briefly, and you level up by completing golf related requests and taking part in rounds and competitions. It was released September 28th, 2017, on the Nintendo eShop for $14.99 USD, or your regional equivalent. Golf Story has two game modes story and quick play. Quick play allows you to set up a match either between yourself and an NPC or between yourself and another person, depending on your settings. There are several settings. You can play in any of the courses you've unlocked, and you can also decide on rules, the size of holes, the, um, the winds you'll face, the strength of them, and also what sort of terrain. The story game mode consists of a series of rounds of golf and golf-related activities. The main character aims to get competitive golf wins under his belt so that he can qualify as a pro player. According to his coach, he has a very unique swing, one that would have destroyed his career from the get-go, but somehow he makes it work. Do you have what it takes to swing your way from obscurity to fame? Explore different turfs, fight an army of the undead, play disc golf with hipsters, witness a rap battle between the old and uptight and the young and undisciplined, perform golf course maintenance, solve a murder mystery, bow to the whims of talking tombstone, put a ghost to rest, and more. The impressive part to all of that diversity is the fact that developer men should tie all of them back to golfing. Everything can and will be settled with a swing of a club. In Golf Story, golfing boils down to timing and intuition. You're given the wind direction and strength in every area, as well as the slope of the ground when applicable. These must be factored into how hard you hit the ball and in what direction, because they can be game changers. In order to hit your ball in any situation except a putt, you must press A on two sections of the bar, one for strength and the other for accuracy. A cursor slides along the bar and your timing is crucial. So let's talk about RPG elements. There's a world map to traverse, and each course opens up in a linear fashion, meaning you need to have made enough story progress in order to proceed to the next course. There are eight courses in total, each of which is significantly different both thematically and mechanically. Typical to RPGs, there are quests. Quests require either 1. Your shots to fall within a target, 2. You to race and hit targets within a time limit, and sometimes 3. Collection of a specified amount of items, but most often it'll boil down to hitting a target, despite the opposition of wind, the slope of the ground, and rascally critters. Unfortunately, quests tend to be trial and error, which is often frustrating. It's difficult to gauge exactly how your ball will respond to the combined wind strength and drag created by the type of terrain or slope, and your ball also bounces just as a real one would. The distance indicator on screen only shows you where your shot would land in a perfect world. You have to adjust trajectory and strength based on the information given to you. Eyeballing distance on a virtual golf course was a near impossible task for me, so I'd often need to retry the same shot 10 times over. It would be nice if there was a way to restart a quest or challenge once you know there's no way you can succeed, rather than have to play through until the end and then start over entirely. You're rewarded with experience based on the difficulty of the task completed. Full games of golf versus NPCs, for example, reward you with more experience than the side quest would. Once you've gained enough experience, your character levels up and you can allocate one... Uh. Once you've gained enough experience, your character levels up and you can allocate points to one of five areas. Power, Purity, Strike, Ability, and Spin. The stats aren't really explained. In fact, the game doesn't tend to explain or give an example, even when teaching you how to do something. Instead, it expects you to try it out for yourself and get a feel for things. This hands-off teaching approach can become frustrating if you're accustomed to hand-holding, or if you aren't able to work out how to do something in the first few tries. As far as grievances go, however, Golf Story does very little that I could find to complain about. Other RPG elements include the quest log. You can pull it up using the plus button, which also brings up your key items, stats, and what you've unlocked in the story so far. It's also where you can change your equipped gear. Equipment can be gotten as quest rewards, but for the most part you'll be buying them in shops. There's one shop in each area. 
A very limited inventory. However, only two or three items per shop. Equipment management is also on the light side, but you do eventually upgrade what you start with, and it does make a difference in your game. Golf Stories writing is great. I wasn't familiar with some of the vernacular given that it's solidly Australian, but I found myself laughing aloud on more than one occasion. The soundtrack, as you may have heard underneath my commentary, is also fantastic. Each area has its own track, and they're all upbeat and catchy. The art style is bright and detailed, and the characters are expressive, which only adds to the hilarity of the script. Even if you are not a fan of sports, per se, this game is a great time. Just think of it more as an RPG where the fighting, turn-based fighting, is replaced by a golfing minigame. Uh, that's all for me, gamers. Golf Story gets a high recommendation for me. I've really, really enjoyed it. And as our first Switch game on the channel, I'd say it was a hole-in-one. <laughs> I've been Dawn from Need to Know Gamers. As always, stay in the know. Thank you.